Hey guys, <laughs> you guys are my old faithful, I love it. Okay, so I'm doing Periscope and Facebook Live again at the same time. Hey, hey Megan. <sighs> this will be a, a slightly deep scope. So not a ton of oil information in this one, but more just, you know, chatting, personal development type stuff. It's kind of spontaneous. Let me turn my music off. Okay. So, I'm going to try this whole Facebook, um, Facebook and Periscope live at the same time. Are you babysitting, Jen? <laughs> uh, by the way, your scope yesterday from the beach, I couldn't tune into it, but I was able to see enough of it to see the view, and which was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yes, I miss the beach. Miss, miss, miss the beach. So, um, so my scope tonight is kind of unplanned, but I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, yes, it's phenomenal. The beach is phenomenal. I miss it. You don't really realize how special the beach is until you're no longer living right next to it. <laughs> Although we have a pool here, which is pretty awesome too. So, okay. I recently had a, it's called an ITOV scan, um, like last week. And it is something that we use, it's a tool that we use in the essential oil community that it's a device that you use on your palm and it measures um, your response to certain biofeedback signals that it sends through your hand. Um, I'm a microbiologist. I don't really understand the science behind the ITOV or also the Zytoscan is another technology that uses very similar um, principles. I don't really understand it. I don't, I don't get it. It's voodoo to me, hence the name of this scope. But every time I've had a scan done, it has revealed so much truth to me. Um, for example, one of the last times I did it was last year, and I, had, I was doing, uh, or had just completed Whole30. Um, so I was eating really well. I didn't have any dietary issues. And normally on my scans, it shows some type of digestive suggestion. Um, and that time it didn't. I actually only said that I should use cedarwood to help promote sleep. And that was pretty much it. So every time I've had a scan, it's kind of revealed some really cool stuff, some kind of spooky stuff. Um, and then the scan that I got last week revealed some really interesting suggestions um, that I want to talk about tonight. So I, I do want to start with, um, on Facebook, my memory this today, one year ago, was when we put our house for sale in Ohio. So that kind of marked the start of leaving Ohio and moving to Colorado, which is, what, which is where we are now. Um, so a year ago, we put our house up for sale. It sold in two days. And then a couple of weeks after that, we moved away. Um, it's been a struggle because I've had to reestablish myself not only as a business person, but as a friend in a brand new community where I don't know anyone. And it's really hard to be a network marketing professional in an area where you can't network because you don't know anyone. You haven't met anyone. You don't have a circle of friends um, that you can talk about your business or get referrals from or anything. It's just, you know, I'm definitely relying and loving social media for that respect. Um, but it's different. So, um, instead of trying to control all of that around me and struggle with it and some of the things that just weren't quite working for me, I decided to go inside and work on myself. 
and help my team work on themselves. So I've been reading this book, You Are a Badass. I'm doing lots of personal development lately. Um, because if you don't believe in yourself, no one will believe in you. So that is something that I have really taken to heart lately and trying to really believe and practice and in my day to day life, be present, um, believe in myself, see the positive in everything because positive attracts positive. Um, so that is something that I have been working on for like the past month and a half, really hard. So last week I met a new friend in the area that also does doTERRA. She does what I do and she invited me to a play date in the park. So I went and she had an iTobi in her purse and she was like, Hey, do you want to scan? I was like, yeah, I'd love a scan. So she pulls out this little device, you know, it's very similar to a Zyda scan, which I was familiar with. And she scans me and the report gets sent directly to me. You know, I didn't look at it for like a day or two because it was busy. It goes right to your email. And then when I finally had a chance, I sat down and read it. And at first, the results don't really seem like a lot to you because you kind of think of them in the like medical therapeutic respect. For example, if you have something that shows up that suggests, you know, dietary support. So perhaps you can relate that back to like, well, I haven't really been eating very well lately and maybe I need some oils or products to help support some dietary issues that I have going on. Well... The first oil that showed up on my scan was Melissa. So Melissa is currently not really available. Um, doTERRA is not selling it currently um, full time because they don't have a reliable source for it. Um, there was some climate issues I think two years ago that kind of ruined the crop so they weren't able to harvest a really great supply of the plant so they can't really produce the oil um, and they won't half ass it which I love so we just don't have it it was available very briefly um, I think last month or the month before so it's kind of funny that Melissa showed up on my scan like hey your body needs Melissa well we can't really buy Melissa right now. Um, update, we do have a new source for Melissa. It's not available yet, but we're hoping it will be announced at convention in September. But I did manage to grab one bottle of Melissa when it became available a couple of weeks ago. So I do have it, and I am hoarding it and coveting it. Uh, Melissa is a great oil to support not only your immune system, but it also supports your emotional system equally as powerfully. So it is a double duty oil and it's incredible. Um, it's commonly called lemon balm and it smells like lemon balm. So it's that really clean, fresh scent. So when I first saw it, I was like, I don't really need this oil. I mean, I'm not feeling ill. I don't really have a lot going on. And Melissa is such a potent oil. Why would it suggest that I need to use Melissa? So here comes the voodoo part of it. So anytime you have a scan, it's really awesome to look up the emotional aspect of an oil because our physio physiology, excuse, excuse me, physiology is tied to our emotional core, our emotional being, and they are intertwined. A great example of this is if you're feeling nervous or anxious, you might have a stomach ache. They play together. So there's two sides to an emotion. So when you look up the oil that these voodoo scans tell you that you need in this emotions book, sometimes a light bulb goes off. So I really want to read this to you guys because it's pretty remarkable. When I read it, I just like floored. So Melissa is called the oil of light. So Melissa oil awakens the soul to truth and light. It reminds individuals of who they truly are and why they came to this earth. Melissa invites one to release everything and anything that holds them back from reaching their fullest potential. So at this point, the first paragraph, I'm thinking, wow, this is really speaking to me because at this point, when I feel like it's been really hard to network and keep, you know, a lot of my personal business going, 
I dive within and start looking at myself and trying to remember who I am and my why and really focus on why I'm doing this business and why do I want to share oils with people. So Melissa is suggested as an oil to release anything that's holding you back from reaching your fullest potential. So that's pretty amazing. Melissa assists an individual in receiving spiritual guidance by reconnecting them with their inner voice. That is exactly what this book talks about. It uplifts the soul by literally preparing one to up level. This book and all of our mentors around us suggest trying to friend up. Be, um, you know, friend, be the person that you want to be to where your idols become your friends. Um, that's really great advice. So when an individual feels too weighed down by their burdens of life, Melissa encourages them to keep going. So at this time when I feel like it's been a struggle trying to you know keep business going and keep networking and keep branching out with people, and it would be so easy to just stop and allow myself that grace to just stop, I need the encouragement to keep going because what we have and what we share is really important. It gives strength and vitality to the innermost recesses of the heart and soul. And those parts are usually things that are struggling. Um, things that don't get a lot of energy and don't get a lot of life. This oil invites one to participate in higher realms of living and dreaming. Dreaming, right? As an individual stays connected to spiritual sources, whatever your spiritual source may be, God the universe, a higher power, whatever it may be, they feel a lightness in their being and a brightness in their core. Melissa reminds one that every individual has a spark of divinity within them and that with love and attention that spark will grow. This oil fuels that spark of energy, igniting an individual's true self. Melissa assists them in shedding everything that is not in harmony with their inner light. This is really great advice. So I've been spending a lot of time lately just focusing on things that are positive in my life, trying to block out anything that's negative, listening to things that are constantly positive in my head because then there's no room for anything that's negative, right? So um, that can be really hard to do in our society, in our day and age, when everyone seems to focus on negative. If you have people that focus on negative around you, don't focus on them. Fill that space with something that's positive. Listen to podcasts. Listen to books on tape. Um, talk to people that are overly positive. Just fill your life with things that are positive, and those are the kinds of things that you're going to get back in return. Uh, the last paragraph says, Melissa's enthusiasm is contagious. And I love that. Because in this team environment of sharing and building doTERRA, um, enthusiasm needs to be contagious because we are very enthusiastic about sharing oils because we're very passionate about it. It's what we do. It's what we love. And when we can ignite that light in someone else that wants to do it too, I mean, we're sharing these beautiful gifts with everyone around us. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, through the intense light and vibration Melissa has to offer, an individual may feel they cannot help but let go of depression and other low vibrations that are holding them down. That's kind of the point that I just said. So... Positive attracts positive. If you send out positive vibrations, you're going to get positive vibrations back. It teaches one the joy of living. So, when I read this, after I had my scan, I was really kind of blown away because it spoke to me exactly. Not in a therapeutic way, but in a purely emotional way. And things that I am really trying to work hard on in my life. Trying to stay positive. Um... Because moving has been challenging. You feel alone. Um, I really want to just meet people, let alone be able to network and, and you know and share my business and share oils with, with people. So I really valued reading this. It came at just the right time. Um, and so that is really all I wanted to share with you guys tonight. Um, Positive begets positive, so I have been focusing really hard on putting positive out into the universe and, you know, being present and enjoying the beauty around. I'm sitting here at my desk, 
you know, enjoying the beautiful view. The clouds are amazing tonight. Um, if you caught my scope earlier tonight, you would have seen all the rain and crazy children, and now it's quiet and still. And it's just proof that you can sit in this crazy, loud world and then still and know that you're going to have these beautiful moments of peace and silence that you can use to reflect. Yes, you need Melissa. Melissa is amazing. <laughs> and I have been doing um, doTERRA for two and a half years and I just got my first bottle. Um, I had a tiny little sample bottle of Melissa that I traded a bottle, a sample bottle of Jasmine with my friend Sarah. So I have had this little teeny tiny vial of Melissa all along that I would hardly ever use unless absolutely necessary. And those absolutely necessary reasons are not something that I can share with you on Periscope because it's not compliant. However, it's looking a lot more promising that our source of Melissa will become more stable because we have a new supplier that is going to bring lots of economic growth and development to Bulgaria, which is amazing. It's really lovely to feel like you're part of that um, by being a wellness advocate and sharing oils with people and purchasing oils um, from these countries. So, um, so yes, Melissa is a highly amazing oil therapeutically, but all of these reasons that you can use it on a spiritual, emotional level is also really cool. Um, hi. I want to step on it. Never fails. Mommy, what are Come say hi. No, what are the stickers? Say good night, buddy. Who is it? It's B. I'm making a video. Who is it? Just my friend. Who? Can you say good night? We're gonna say goodbye, okay? What friend? <laughs> Auntie Megan says hi. What is or She's this? on the other side. Oh. I know. Goodbye. All right, can you say good night? Say good night. Good night. <laughs> Okay, well that is all I had for my scope tonight. I wanted to go a little... Hold on, that's my drink. I wanted to go a little deep, a little spiritual. I've been, mwah, been really um, encouraged to share these results with you guys. So I'm glad that... What's this? <laughs> it's my stuff. It's my drink. All right. All right, that is all I have for tonight. Thank you guys for joining. I will talk to you later. Mommy,